What's going on guys? Welcome to the part 5 of my 3D printed 8 skill to Aero Supra. In today's video, we will be working on the steering wheel. I already did some measurement with these links, but I 3D printed these so you can put a bearing in it, a 10 millimeter bearing just like the ones I used for the hubs. It's the same one I used. So I put these wire links so I can know the measurement, but with the test number two, I found the correct measurement for these links and right now it's working very good and I'm going to show you. But this is not the final version. With the final version, I will make sure to put holes on here, just like I put it on the chassis so you can bolt strong and take it off. And for any cases it breaks, you can have to change it so you don't have to change the whole chassis just for these pins. So yeah, so let's test that. But before testing the steering wheel, I mentioned in the last video that this chassis is not the last one. And I printed the last one and it came out like this. I had a problem with PTFE tube and the nozzle. So after I came back and I found out it's like this. But anyway, I'm gonna clean it and I will show you more of that. If you want to skip all that headache and all that wasting time, head over to PCBWays.com PCBWay offering CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication and injection molding. You just have to put the file and choose the material and it will tell you the price and shipping days. PCBWays link will be in the video description box below for more information. Thanks for PCBWays for sponsoring this video. For the steering wheel, I'm gonna use a 30 kilo servo, but for now I'm using 20 and connect it to a servo tester and we're gonna test it now. The steering angle is very good for now. You can feel a wobbling a bit but because I used wires so they are not bolting on but with the final version I will make links like this with the final version I will make links like this it's just a N3 bolt and these heads so with this one it will be adjustable I will put here for adjusting the steering and here the rod so yeah it will be like this but for now it's working good and that wobbling because it's not bolted on. With the final version of course there will be few bolting points so it will be secure. Alright now we're gonna change the old steering servo mount with the new design. With this design it's much beefier and I move these to the side a, a bit so right now it's here instead of here and we're gonna put the servos on and then the bearings on the new arms and test out With the new design, these arms are far from the engine, 
and so we have more mobility for pulling the steering but right now it's very good like this angle is very good even for drifting we can use that so yeah but with the new chassis it will be bolted and not gonna be like this of course so with the new chassis you have all these holes so we can pick a few of these for the servo map all right i'm back i just cleaned this part and we're gonna disassemble everything on the front and put it here all right before assembling the chassis i just want to show you the pins that goes here these brass nuts that these brass inserts we're gonna warm it up and push it in You can use soldering iron, but I'm going to use a lighter for now. Alright, I just put all these inserts in, so we're gonna disassemble the front of this car and then put it on this new chassis. I also fixed all the problem with the servo mounts. With these ones, it was a bit bigger. We had that much wobble, but with this one, here I was using a temporary bolt to hold the arms, but here I'm using a four millimeter rod. It will be 63 millimeter and 66 millimeter one for the top and one for the bottom and then I 3d printed this cap so the shaft not gonna come out so you will put this on and you're gonna put a small screw here All 
right finally the front part of the chassis is very good i don't have anything wrong with it everything i designed held up pretty good and the holes are aligned together with the fender and the bumper and the bumper is really solid right now the, this piece with the chassis it's one part like it's solid now you can even hold the car with it and the servo is working very good uh, i'm sure they can handle the engine weight and the body weight so for now it looks very good and the steering angle is very good so that's it for now for the next video i'm gonna try to work on the back side of the car but for now the front is very good let me know what you guys think about the project if you have any suggestions let me know in a comment section below and if you are new here i will put the playlist in the video description box below and youtube card here so you can catch up how did i start with this project all right thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye for now